Internuclear ophthalmoplegia is an ocular movement disorder caused by lesion of the medial longitudinal fasciculus, a fiber tract responsible for transmitting information that is vital for coordination of different eye movements. A saccad is a rapid conjugate eye movement that shifts the center of the gaze from one part of the visual field to another. One of the most important functions of the medial longitudinal fasciculus is its role in saccadic eye movements. Saccades are initiated by the frontal eye field, which sends signals to the contralateral paramedian pontine reticular formation for horizontal saccades. The paramedian pontine reticular formation activates the ipsilateral abducens nucleus, which sends signals to the lateral rectus muscle of the same site and to the medial rectus subnucleus of the oculomotor nucleus through the medial longitudinal fasciculus, thus resulting in horizontal gaze. So, an impulse from the frontal eye field to left pontine paramedian reticular formation results in abduction of left eye due to contraction of left lateral rectus muscle and adduction of right eye due to contraction of right medial rectus muscle. Due to medial longitudinal fasciculus lesion, there is slowing or impaired adduction on the same side as the lesion which is the cardinal sign of internuclear ophthalmoplegia. The contralateral abducting eye may demonstrate a dissociated horizontal nystagmus. This is thought to be a compensatory response to overcome the weakness of the adducting eye. Physical examination. The hallmark of internuclear ophthalmoplegia is impaired adduction in the eye ipsilateral to the affected medial longitudinal fasciculus which can range from mild limitation to severe restriction of adduction. There is a nystagmus in the abducting eye associated with this which usually lasts for a few bits. Evaluation the physical examination in most patients with internuclear ophthalmoplegia helps practitioners to arrive at a diagnosis. However, investigations like neuroimaging assist in finding the underlying cause. MRI can be a valuable tool in this regard and up to 75% of patients may have a visible lesion. For demyelinating lesions, proton density imaging is considered to be ideal. Management Treatment depends on the underlying cause. Acute strokes require hospitalization and neurological evaluation. Other pathologies require management by a physician, for example, multiple sclerosis, infections, SLE. Most patients with demyelination, infectious, and traumatic etiologies show complete recovery. Patients with cerebrovascular disorders have a less favorable recovery. Recovery is said to be more likely if interlinear ophthalmoplegia is isolated than if other neurological signs accompany it.